In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the angle between a line and a plane. And the way that our IB book introduces this is they, they draw these three-dimensional figures, so this rectangular prism here. Um, so if they want to find, they might say find the projection of the line into the plane. Um, so if they're looking at that, um, like the projection of the line BH into the plane, then what they're talking about is they want, well, how if this were kind of, if it landed flat sort of onto the plane, what would that be? Well, so this BHF is that angle that they're talking, is the angle that's formed. The projection onto the plane is this FH right here. If we're talking about the BH being projected down onto that plane. Um, so to find the angle between the, the line and the plane, you would look at the angle BHF to find that angle between the line BH and the, and the, and the plane that's the base of this figure. Um, they also say, for example, do um, the angle between, or say we want um, BM. So with BM right here, what we're looking at is we can come down and find this is this FM right here. And so now I've got this triangle. So it might be helpful off to the side to draw this out. And we know that if this is a, a regular or like a, a right prism, then we've got B at the top, F down here, and then here is M. So I would recommend that when you have this picture and, you, and you've looked at the, at the different components, draw it off to the side and make sure you label, because then you can see what is it that you know. If this is a right triangle, then you could use um, the trig or the Pythagorean theorem, whatever that you need, um, Sokotoa and that kind of stuff, depending on what situation they've given you. Um, let me think about that. Yeah, so that's the that's the section at 7F, I think, in our book. Um, so practice some of those. Make sure you know what you're looking at. Um, then the next, you know what? Let's do another video. Uh, stick around and find the second video.